Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on So So Many Things 2000's channel. I did get my new hamster today, but um, his fur, um, it needs to be like brushed out because he's a long haired hamster. And uh, I just got him today, so I can't touch him. So um, I won't be filming him until I can touch him and get his fur back into shape. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your hamster cage. First, you're going to unassemble it and dump out all the old shavings, old food, and old water. Take your water bottle and uh, just once you've done all of that, you want to uh, go to your bathtub or your sink. But a bathtub, you definitely want to use a bathtub. But uh, you could use a sink, but you definitely want to. So it was like hand soap, nothing bleach based. Um, and uh, I filled mine with uh, some moisturizing hand soap uh, to get it all clean with hot water. Not hot, hot, but hot water. And then you want to take either a sponge or like a wash rag or something. And you want to, um, or a washcloth or something. And then you want to uh, just let it go in there with all the other stuff. Um, I like to clean all the small stuff first, so let's get started on doing that. And um, once you've completed cleaning your food dish and um, stuff, like you wanna, once you've done all that, you want to take your washcloth or whatever you're using and start cleaning all the small stuff first. That's what I like to do. And then, um, then go on to the big stuff like the base of the cage and all that um so yeah do that step now and um do that step now once you have done that um next you want to do like um the metal part of your cage or um, the top part. We'll worry about the base left. So go ahead and do the metal part um, and the top part. And the way that you want to do that is you want to make sure that when you're doing the top part, you open up the doors on the top and the base part. And you want to make sure you clean all the gooey stuff off and all that. Um, I know this isn't a very extensive, um, good video quality or a lot of telling you what to do type deal. Um, I'm just showing you basically how you want to clean it so that you get all the germs off. So once you've done all that, I will show you how to, uh, then after you've done all that, um, I will show you the, how to clean the base of your cage. Do that step now. Do the metal part and your top part. Do that step now. Now that you've done that step, the next thing that you want to do is, is you want to clean your base of your cage. So the way that you want to do this is, take your wash rag, make sure you got a lot of soap on your wash rag, like the foam from the bathtub. Next, or the sink, you just want to submerge it kind of in water. Before you do anything with your wash rag, submerge it in water on the bottom and on the top. So next I'm going to flip mine over. And I'm just going to submerge it in some water. Get some water in there. Once you got the water in the base of the cage, take a little bit of foam from the bathtub on your wash rag or on your bag. I mean, uh, rag, bag. Sorry, Oop. fail. Um, on your washcloth, you're going to want to just move it around like that and you just want to kind of wipe it down so go ahead and do that step now and yeah and then I'll show you how to assemble do that yes no sorry do that step now next thing you're going to want to do after that you're going to want to dry your cage so you take the base of your cage first, and you're going to take it, and you're just going to dry it off. So do that step now, and dry off your base of your cage, your hamster wheel, your hamster bottle, hamster food dish, and your hamster um, top. And once you've done that, 
I will show you how to uh, put shavings in your cage and I will show you um, the way that I do it. Do that step now. The next thing that you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to put shavings in your um, face of your cage. Sorry, dropped the video camera. So, to put shavings in your cage, what you want to do is, is you want to take some bedding. Um, Care Fresh and Aspen bedding is the kind that I would go for. Um, like I said, I got my new hamster today, and uh, it came with some Care Fresh bedding. But my other hamster is used to the Aspen bedding. So I went ahead and bought some more bedding. So when I need to clean my other hamster's cage, I have enough bedding. So, you're going to open it up, and you're going to put, they say about half an inch, but my hamsters like to burrow, so I put a little more than that. Not by much, but I put a little more. Let me, sorry, that's my mom. She's going to hold this for me for a second. Put it this way. No. Don't let it too far. So now that you've done this and you've opened it up, you're gonna take you're gonna take it and you're gonna take a big lob and you're just gonna start putting it in there. Cedar's bad for them. But Aspen is okay for them. It's actually good for them. So don't get the Aspen Cedar. Um, this stuff's rough. Um, don't get the Cedar. Um, and yeah, so do that step now. I don't think it's... Sorry. He's in there. Once you do that, you want to fill his food dish up. A lot of people put five spoonfuls for dwarf hamsters and five spoonfuls for other hamsters. But what you're going to want to do is, is you only want to put two spoonfuls, no more than three spoonfuls. Once you've done that, um, I'm going to show you where how to assemble my cage. And I have the critter trail starter habitat so do that step now once you've done that step the next thing that you're going to want to do is fill up your water dish once you've done your food and water dish you're ready for the next step the next step is is you're going to take the base of your cage and put it on the sticker side i lost my sticker but i still have some stickiness from it Ooh, sorry buddy some stickiness from it. Now once you've done this, get down. You want to take the door side and put it where the sticker side is. Like you want to take the door and put it where the sticker would be. Or if you have a sticker there. So go ahead and put the base of your cage on now. Once you have done that, you want to take the top of your cage and you're going to want to put it on top of the cage and assemble it that way. Do that step now. Next, I'll be showing you um, where I put my water bottle at. Go ahead and put the top of your cage on now. After you've done that, go ahead and put on your water bottle. I put my water bottle right here. Go ahead and do that step now. Next, you want to put in your wheel. I have pegs for my wheel, um, so I don't got to hook it on the cage. This is a silent spinner, and if I hooked it on the cage, you would hear the metal. So, I keep the pegs on mine. So, once you've assembled your uh, wheel in there, and you've put 
your shavings and you've cleaned your cage and you've put your food in there and you've put it together, you are done with cleaning your hamster's cage. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching.